What's, What's up, up nerds? nerds? I'm Buddy. I'm Kiddo, and, and we're, we're Buddy, buddy and kiddo. kiddo. And we're being very quiet once again because our nieces and nephews are here. Well, niece and nephews are here. So, welcome back to Will You Press the Button? We're doing another quiet Let's Play, obviously. Yeah, so. Shh. Okay. Let's begin. Kiddo, question is yours. What's up? You can obtain any sort of superhuman power you desire, but people are aware of this power and want to take advantage of you for their own benefit. So it's not everybody, but it is people. So like, you know, soda franchises and whatnot, sports, you know, well, memorabilia. I can definitely still just say no. You can definitely say no, but I'm saying like, you'll be Captain Marvel, but everybody would be trying to use your insignia on stuff. They'll probably even be trying to use it like illegally. It don't matter what what your symbol is. No, they, they, they just want to take advantage of my power yeah, they for want... their benefit, not my insignia. No, no, your insignia is like a symbol of your power. No, literally. just literally my power. No, so if I had the power and visibility, someone would want to take advantage of that. I know. Say a, a bank robber, for example, they'd be like, like, "Okay, we want you to rob a bank." It's not anything about the insignia. Uh, obviously, but I'm, I'm, just, I'm saying like it's. No, no, you're right. You're right. I read too deep into it. It's mm -hmm. just not that. Basically, yeah, like um, Fantastic Four, the remake, where they put Johnny and um, and Ben into right into like a military project. Yeah, so I can simply tell them no, so I will press the button. That's probably how I'd rationalize them. Okay. All right, buddy. You will obtain any power you want for a full month. Okay, that's interesting. But after a month, you will die horrifying deaths and be revived non-stop for 24 hours and remember every second of the pain for the rest of your life. But the rest of your life is all that pain. Non-stop for 24 hours? You will be die. You will hours. die and, and then be you resurrected, will, yep. yes. And feel every single pain of those horrifying deaths. See, I'm not Deadpool. I will not just be crazy and okay with that. Like, you don't just get killed and come back again and again and again. It's still maintain somewhat of, like, some semblance of your sanity. Uh, man, who's to say, like, you know, I'll, I'll be so messed up when it's over that I won't just kill myself for the final time. Plus, it doesn't say that I'll be able to keep my powers after it's all over. So, it could or cannot be, like, a final thing. You get it for a month. I know. Essentially, they're cursing with immortality right here. It's a yeah. power, but it's a curse because I have to endure dying over and over again for a full day. For literally a full day. And I can't sleep my way through it or nothing. I, I can't drug myself, like, you know, and you then just bring all the pain. You will any power you want for a full month. Mm -hmm. So that means you could have any power for 30 any to time, days. any, like, any well, minute, any second, if you want to change it. 28 to 31 days. If you want to change it, you can. So... That's what I'm saying, but at the end, it's not saying I have a prize where I can get, like, I can keep some of the powers or even all the powers. It's just saying that for one month, I can do anything. Like that movie, absolutely anything. I mean, I'm looking down at this comment right here, and it says my power will be to grant my own wishes. Month limit destroyed. I'm saying, is that possible? I'm thinking that you could have a power to grant your own wishes and basically just wish yourself to not feel pain while you die all those times. Like, I wish, like, if I could, I would wish to, like, I could just, like, not do the dying part, but instead have to, I don't know, pay a fee or something. But, uh, you know what? To hell with it. I'm gonna press it. Wish for the deal to be undone, maybe. Even. No. no I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna play devil's advocate for you now. Devil's advocate is when you get between someone. Most people press the button. Yep. Okay. Okay, uh, oh, this is a Doctor Who question. Okay. Lucky Duck. Mm -hmm. Okay, Doctor Who will continue for the rest of your life. Like, the show will just continue until you get, like, I don't know, 80 or something. But it will be the only TV show in existence for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. So Doctor Who just eats up every single other TV show on TV. No, mm -hmm, because I still want to watch Arrow. Mm -hmm. I still want to watch Lucifer. Yeah, because the, the TARDIS would just drop in on those shows. I know, you wouldn't want it to. And I still want to watch Sherlock. And it's still funny, the guy that played Rory from Doctor Who is on Arrow. I mean, Legend on, of uh, Tomorrow. Legend of Tomorrow, yeah. Anyway, but yeah, like, there's there's so many other things that I would like to watch. Mm -hmm. And also, it would only continue on for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. I think other people should be able to enjoy Doctor Who, too. Mm -hmm. So in that case, I will not press the button. <laughs> Someone says that there's not a downside to it, but I do see a downside. 
That's only if you're like a, a Doctor Who cultist or something like that. If you're just a big fan, then you're just a big fan. I mean, I love me some Doctor Who. I like being a doctor myself. Mm -hmm. so, you know, it's all good. Oh, right here. Okay, right. so... You don't have your wand. No, not to <laughs> Screwdriver. <laughs> anyway. Okay. You can create a pizza everyone loves, and you get famous for it, but you also ruin McDonald's. I don't there, see There really downside. isn't a downside. There really isn't a downside. I'm going to press that button. Yeah. I got this one. Yep, most people press the button. Soul sucking that franchise. One. Only twelve people press did not press the button. The only upside. I mean, twelve percent of people did not press the button. The, literally, pretty much the only upside to McDonald's is that it provides like it's just one of many businesses that provides like a minimum wage job to get you started, get you some job experience, and they might put you through college maybe. But you know, I already pressed the button. I mean, any other business can do that pretty much. Okay, you. 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 Yes, yeah. you. Yeah, me. Who? What? <laughs> go to the toilet without a sound. But it just says go to the toilet without a sound now. Yeah. It doesn't say you can go to the toilet without a sound, just you go to the toilet without a sound. But you can hear everyone at the toilet twice as loud as normal. See here's the thing, it's so just you it just says go to the toilet without a sound. It's not it does not say go mm -hmm. to the bathroom without a sound. It says go to the toilet without a sound. To the toilet. So I don't I don't. I mean, sure. I can. I can be quiet on my own. I know how to tiptoe. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm pretty good at actually on going the to the. No, I'm actually pr go to the toilet. You can go. Not go on the toilet. You can go spook. Go to the toilet. I know what you mean. I can tiptoe on my own. I don't think they mean tiptoe towards the bathroom. I know that's not what they mean, but that's exactly what it says. What they mean is that you can go to the bathroom. And no one will actually hear you in the bathroom mm -hmm. as you do your business. Mm -hmm. But you can hear everyone else. Mm -hmm. So, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I will not press the button if it means just to go to the bathroom, just to, you know, go into the bathroom quietly. But I will press the button if, you know, it's actually, like, I don't make a sound and everybody else does. Because uh, this is pretty much my life already. That bathroom echoes. <laughs> And I can hear everyone twice as loudly, do. especially when I wake up in the morning. Most bathrooms do echo. It could be like a, a home bathroom or I'll a public bathroom. That. Dang, it's a 50-50. You never know what you hear when you go to a public bathroom. Next. Okay. Alright, buddy. Mm -hmm. Something interesting will happen to you every day, but no one will care. <laughs> Claire, I know, it must be Claire. Charlie Banks right here said, this is the story of my life. <laughs> Fantastic things are just happening to him every day, but you're like, eh, blow it out your ass. That's just cruel. It is. Oh, uh, no. No, I, I won't press the button. That's just me. I want somebody else to enjoy what's going on with me. Most people did press the button. I want those people. I don't want to hog an adventure. Well, if the doctor swooped in and, you know, then, you know, he and I can enjoy the adventure while it lasts. And then after that, what'll happen is I'll try to go tell someone else and they'll be like, whatever. Mm -hmm. I'll be like, screw you, I had fun. Mm -hmm. They're like, whatever. They probably just think you're crazy if they just go like, whatever. But if they really just like say nothing to you, literally going through time and partially changing history, I mean, that's just mean that they just blow you off. Okay. It's your turn. Where's my turn? Nope, it's my turn. Okay. I'm saying you ask me the question. Yeah, your turn. Yeah. yeah. Your turn to go. Okay. You can control time, i.e. fast forward, pause, rewind. One of my favorite superpowers. And also. wait. Continue. The ability to control time is immediately. Wait. Rewind. Yeah, you really need to do this. Stop. Continue. Time is immediately gone for the next 24 hours when you get a boner <laughs> or break the law. You didn't go back. Yeah, I did. You're supposed to say, mm -hmm. you can you said control go time. I You're did. supposed to repeat yourself. I did. Because I, I rewinded. I left off at immediately. Oh, okay, fine. Oh, I ruined the joke. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. The ability to control time is immediately gone for the next 24 hours when you get a boner or break the law. Well, I'm not a dude. Exactly. And it would be any time that I jaywalk. So if I, you know, don't break the law there and I'd be okay. I'm good. I'm, I'm all for it. Mm -hmm. I'm all for it. I could see that. And it's only for the next 24 hours. It'd so I'll like, get it back after those 24 hours. It'd be like Jumper, except like you get like a pause in your powers. Alright. 
you can travel through time and space, Doctor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but the amount of time you travel is deducted from your lifespan. <laughs> or Star Trek. Mm -hmm. They do it a lot. They do. They do it. Even Voyager. They weren't even in our galaxy. How the hell did they try and travel to Earth like three times in the same season? Someone said, well, I have no life spawn. Oh, because it says life spawn, not life span. Uh, so I see no downside. Wait, what? That's what it says. The amount of time you travel is deducted from your life spawn. So I was really like, okay, if I travel 10 years, that, that means my future children won't live past 10. I was thinking life spawn in terms of like respawning in a game, but it doesn't say respawn. It says life spawn. So. I'm guessing that means children. I'm, I'm, I don't know. They no, might, I don't. I don't I'm think appreciate they actually meant to say life spawn. I, I think they meant to say life span. But it's it's here now. It's, it's written in stone on the internet. So unless you go back and erase it with a wet. Oh stone. wait! And did you guys see this update? Isn't it cool? Yeah, it looks nice. It's like the Facebook finger just decided that it was going to drop by and change everything. And it did. Yeah, it did. Okay. Tweet. Right. That was the Twitter. Or... It says tweet right there. Oh, it does say tweet. <laughs> And it says Facebook share or F share. Anyway, go ahead. F share you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, well, no, that's 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 fair. I mean, if you wait, the amount of time you travel. So that means if I travel back like 30 years or something like that, does that mean I will I'll have 30 years deducted from my life? Or are they saying like if well, I travel? Well, if we still go off a of spawn. I'm saying if I travel personally for 30 years, then like what? Yes, it's, if you, it's too if, complicated. No, no, I won't. I won't. If it would be along the lines of you travel thirty years into the future, so therefore you lose thirty years. Hey, unless I'm you just... travel five years into the past, you lose five years. Uh, yeah. Unless... So that when you get back to your present, you will have less time in your lifespan. Unless I give him some of that Captain Jack Harkness immortality. No, I won't press the button. Okay. Kiddo, one of your senses becomes superhuman. Already are. Yeah. Was it your pits? I pointed at my ear. Goodness, no wonder you sting. <laughs> but two of your other senses become greatly lessened, so. Oh, that's sucks. Like your sense of smell, maybe like your sense of hearing. Or oh, something. wait, no. That's already happened. My sense no. of hearing is great, and no. I hate it, but my sense of smell sucks, and I've already lost half of my sense of sight. What do you mean you already lost half of it? My guy, girl, what happened to you? I'm kidding, not half. It's like... You're only gone for three months. It's like maybe a quarter. Not even a quarter. No, that's like 12% maybe? Like what you get hit with like, I don't know... Flashlights. I'm about to say Zeta radiation sun. or something? <laughs> no, not but... Not gamma um, radiation, like the opposite of that. It kills you. Well, I don't have superhuman hearing, but I have sensitive hearing. So daredevil? Sensitive. So daredevil? Daredevil would be superhuman probably. His ears don't bleed, but they are pretty sensitive. I mean, mine don't bleed either, but at the same time, like, I just don't like high-pitched noises, things are too loud, those things. Um, anyway, so, but then that was my sense of smelly, and I don't smell farts anymore. Good point. Tate Washburn says, increased eyesight, less hearing, and smell, I don't know what this sounds like, smelly. We're going to call it smelly. Hearing aid and I don't smell farts anymore. Booyah. All right. So I can go for the nose lessening. Um, and it didn't say how, oh, it says greatly lessening. Like unless there's a fire or something like that, you might regret that nose. I might regret that nose. Yeah. But if you're blind, you're not going to be able to do anything about it, are you? Unless you are a daredevil. What are the other senses? Touch? Touch, hearing, sound, taste. I could eat anything. I'm no, I can't. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm the rest, missing one. The rest of my hear, hmm. hearing. Did I say hearing already? Did you, did, I, I, don't, I don't think you did. Touch, taste, I ain't smell, hearing. I left off a of hearing, I think. Eyes, sight. Sight. Damn, sight. Honestly, there would be a whole lot of iffiness because it says greatly lessened. Um, so that would suck. So you, I, if I was you, I'd probably go with taste and smell, if it was me. Or maybe taste and touch, you know? So at least Don't then, you want to taste ice cream? Yeah, but if you get hit or something like that, you won't be able to feel it as much. You still feel it, but not as much. Lessened. Not dead. But pretty daggone hurt. Yeah, but it's not like you don't slick your wrist enough feel the knife running through your arm. 
Yeah, but your body still has to heal from getting hit by a freaking car. I know, but I'm saying, like, you won't feel... You won't feel it, no. I'm not implying that you're going to stand there and take the hit from the automobile skidding towards you. I'm saying... But anyway, so I guess you could lose your sense of touch. And, I'm saying if you want to. Well, I'm saying I guess I could lose my sense of touch. And I don't really have great smelling anyway. Uh, if you're wondering why we're sitting here elbow to elbow, as you can see, we've infused at the arm. There was an accident at the lab that night. Look, better, better let them set. I just leave it. Yeah. Bad Dude. joke. Nice try though. Bad hair. Okay. How about that? I'm fabulous. <laughs> 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 anyway, um, so since this is the last one, I will probably. There's no need for me to press the button. I pretty much have this in my life already. Okay. So, so I will not. I will not. I don't need anything to become lessened greatly. It's already right. lessened enough. 54% of people have pressed press the button. button. All right, we'll leave it here. Cause we're out of time. Uh, this might have been a good one now. I mean, for me, I'm gonna say it just, go just because I'm not gonna answer it though. Yeah. You can rewind time and go back to any period to fix any mistakes you made, but you can't forward time and are stuck in the past having to relive all that time again. This actually isn't all that bad. Like, unless I'm the same age as I was before I traveled back, so like you know, when everyone else is just hitting fifty and I'm already, I, but I'm I'm looking like I'm already like eighty two, like you know that'll be like the only issue with it. Otherwise, this will be good. I would totally press the button for that. But um, mm -hmm. like like I said, like this is where we're gonna leave it off right here. Yeah, we'll leave this to you guys. For me, I'd probably say that I wouldn't you know go back because I don't know anything that I, any mistake that I try to fix in my past might not lead me to be the me that I am today. So. Um, Andrej and Kiri and yeah, Cree, yeah, Cree on quarter. And I was gonna say that's, that's three quarters, bro. Yeah, th I mean, well, I just said quarter, three fourths. Um, no, three fourths, thirty-five percent, basically. Uh, just take it and just use it for short time jumps for important events and emergencies, like Groundhog Day or something, but on purpose. Okay. Yeah, I still wouldn't, but again, leaving this up to you guys. Yep. If you want to join in the conversation. Mm -hmm. Um, but again, way press the button is awesome. Yeah. I, I love this game. It you know, hits you with trivia, and it makes I mean, you that you don't expect trivia. Sorry, it's not trivia. I thought tr I said trivia. I mean, like it hits you with questions that you don't expect, with like scenarios that really makes you scratch your noggin. And it makes you think, and it makes you dive into your personality and your traits, and the see basically, and to see how you react to certain things and see who you are as well as letting other people see you are if you're playing this game with someone else. Hold on. You just sit here letting me think we were fused for two days. I already called it a bad joke. Don't bring it back. <laughs> you got stripes on your freaking arm, dude. And that's a navy blue shirt. We could have sewn them together. Uh-huh. Anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe, and do all those nerdy things that you guys do. Well, we do all the nerdy things that we like to do. And until next time, nerds, nerds out. out.